next race is going to be race 24. <laughs> very integral part of yet another OC Championships victory here for Dana yep. Hills. Um, if you could, what was the mindset of the team going into this? Um, I think our mindset was just like, we're here, this is our turf, and we're just here to compete and here to definitely put a mark that Dana Hills is the best in OC. And I think we did definitely did show that. Now, when you come into a race like this as a heavy team favorite, obviously anything can kind of happen there. But you guys carry an added burden being that you're expected to win year in, year out. Yeah. This is the fifth year in a row now, ninth in the last 13 years. Do you guys take that as a sense of pride or is that is that a heavy burden for you guys? To carry? Um, we definitely have that in the back of our minds that we are here and we're our favorites. But I think for us, we just use it as motivation and it just helps push us because we know that we're a great team and we just want to prove it to other people. And I guess we just want to show it and leave it all out there. Now, from an individual standpoint, obviously expected to play an integral role, and we're able to do that here today. Just talk a little bit about the race. From an individual perspective, what did you want to try to accomplish being toward the front of the, ra yeah, the race? Yeah, um, for me, I just wanted to just, you know, just push it from the beginning, just kind of stay ahead of the pack, and then kind of just keep keep up with Grover. I just knew, I knew he was a very very good runner, so I just wanted to keep with him, stay in his back pocket for as long as possible, and then just try to outkick him. And that was just my plan going into it. And I think I did it pretty well. Uh, the hills, the first hill definitely got to me a bit. I wasn't expecting it because it's my first time running this track. But I think from then on, I just kind of used the rhythm of the the race and just kind of kept going from there. I was gonna save. Being that this was the first time and maybe a little bit of a disadvantage of our runners that kind of know where to, to, to attack and things, how did you kind of maybe push that aside and just use your natural talent to help you here today? Um, I think what I just told myself is that I train, I train to compete at the highest level and that just always is in the back of my head. You know, my coaches, uh, Coach Dunn and Coach Cop, they just, they train us not to run slow. So I just knew that I could keep up with pace and yeah. Now obviously you had a teammate that was right behind you and obviously that teammate sacrificed a lot of, yeah. of uh, you know, blood, sweat and tears literally. <laughs> yeah. um, just talk a little bit about you know, seeing that kind of effort from a teammate when obviously an injury is kind of impacting the bit and what that meant for you guys. Um, I think, so I just saw, um, I just saw him like come, come down the, this hill and I saw him just like get injured on his hand and just trying to hold on to like something to slingshot around because uh, it was quite a twi tight turn. I think from for me, just like seeing him injured and keeping uh, keep on running, just like showed me that like, hey, look, if he want if he's got that much drive, then I need to step it up for the team. Now, obviously, the season doesn't end for you guys here today. Um, this is as Coach Dunn likes to say, you guys don't even start the season until November. Yeah. Um, momentum or anything is always week to week. How would you guys use this, either good or bad, to kind of you know get rid of some of the bad stuff? And build on some of the good stuff as you get ready for the next challenge. So I think we'll just use this as like this is this we know we can do this, and so we always like we always want to improve on it. So we know we can do this, and now we're going to use this momentum throughout training and say, hey, look, we can do this. What else can we show? So I think we'll just use that and keep on improving and keep on just building on that. And then from an individual standpoint, to finish second here today, um, what kind of pride do you get from that? And then, you know, obviously in Orange County, this is one of the bigger meets of the season to kind of put your name on that yes. radar as an individual. How special the accomplishment is? Um, it's definitely something special to me, just being a first timer and just for me, just I always want to prove to other people what, to, to show what I have, and I think this was just for me a great, a great, great to show that I can, I can do what I can do, and people can see the hard work I put in. This is the result.